Hi, Carrick here. Can a house really be built sustainably? Well, today we're in Taos, New Mexico to see one example that goes farther than anything else to answer that question. Forget everything you know about what a house should look like and come with me to check out Earth Chips. Let's go. Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure, is brought to you in part by Energy Federation Incorporated, where saving energy is easy. Have you ever heard of walls made out of tires or old soda cans? A house that gets all of its water from rain collected on the roof? A house that only uses the sun for all of its electricity and heat? Earthships are one example of what a sustainable house can look like. Hi, I'm Carrick. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Earthship Biotexture. Thank you. An Earthship is a type of a home that's main goal is sustainability, meaning that the people who live in the home, the families and the moms and the dads and the kids and everyone else, don't have to be quite as dependent on outside sources for power and water and food, meaning that the Earthship home provides all of these things for you just because of the way that it's built. We also try to use as many recycled materials as possible, including rammed earth tires and bottles and cans. So like I said, we used rammed earth tires, meaning that we take these tires and you can see that these are what our walls are built out of. This is an unfinished wall, and if you hit that, it makes a really hard brick encased in rubber and steel, meaning that it won't ever break down. It makes it very strong for wind and earthquakes and other things that can happen too that would normally destroy some other conventional homes that are built. So this is basically stronger than any other home? It's, uh, there are some ho homes that could be stronger than this. We've never pitted them against one another. But for 35 years, these things have proven to be strong against anything that nature or men can throw at them. Also over here, they said that we use cans to build. And you can see these are old soda cans mm -hmm. and all sorts of different kinds of cans. And we lay them in cement. And that way, the only purpose of the cans is to take up space so we're not using more cement than we need to to build. We're not wasting any kind of product that isn't necessarily renewable or sustainable. This is called adobe and people have been using this method for thousands and thousands of years to plaster on their walls rather than something that has to be mined from the ground and then made into another type of plaster that's used in conventional homes. We use the dirt from the site that we use to dig out because we are partially underground and we mix a little bit of straw and some water and some sand and then we use it to plaster walls and it turns out to be really really pretty and it's really durable and it's nice and smooth too. exactly and it see how it keeps the cool temperature and it's it's warm outside but you can touch the wall inside your home and your home is cool as wow. well as in the winter your wall will be warm one thing that we focus on a lot in earthships and it's one of the main properties of an earthship home is food production because if you really did want to be sustainable and if you didn't want to have to leave your home and go to the grocery store or work very, very, very hard outside of your home, especially us, we live in the desert here, so having a large outside garden is kind of hard. We would need a lot of water. Food production is large in the airships. All airships have planters that are planted with food and other types of plants, not only to eat, but because the water that we use to take showers and baths and do laundry and wash dishes is all collected in these planters. We don't waste any of it. It doesn't go outside and it doesn't go to a septic tank. It goes into these planters, so the planters are watered by all of the water that you use during the day. The average American uses a lot of water. So the fact that we take it and we recycle it and use it for plants has two purposes. First, it waters the plants. Second, it's collected and then it's pumped to our toilets. So we flush with that water that's been cleaned by the plants. And so we're using all of our water four times ultimately in a house. That's how we can get away with only having the water that we catch on our roofs. So this is the roof of the home and this is where we catch all of our water. This house is about 5,000 square feet so it's a really large home and it's built for a lot of people to live in. So we have a lot of catch space meaning that our roof is really really big. The water will it'll run down this metal right here, it's called propanol, and it's something that lasts for a really long time. Part of being sustainable is the fact that you don't want to have to do a lot of maintenance. You don't want to have to do a lot of repairs or buy a lot of new products to fix your house. You want it to last for a long time. And this is able to catch fairly clean water, 
and this coating on here catches clean water as well. So we don't have a lot of heavy metals and other nasty stuff that you don't want in your water that you use in your house. Oh sweet, it's like a rainbow. Yep, not only does living off of the grid and living in an earthship especially benefit the environment, but it benefits the people who live in it, and it can be really pretty and really fun. Even being off the grid and being completely independent of any other source of power or water, you can have all of the things that other people have in their homes, including flat screen televisions, cable, um, internet, we have internet in this home, wireless internet. Um, so you're not limited just because you're running off of solar power or if you're off of the grid, you're not limited to have to live, it's not like you're camping. You get to have everything that everybody else has in their homes as well.